All right, so repetitions problem from the CSS problem set. The instruction goes as follows. You are given a DNA sequence, a strings consisting of characters A, C, G, and T. Your task is to find the longest repetition in the sequence. This is a maximum length substring containing only one type of character. The only input line contains a string of n characters. Print one integer, the length of the longest repetition. And then it gives you that n is at most um, 10 to the power of 6, which is 1 million. Okay, so we're going to need 1 million characters at most. And it gives you a string. And in this case, you have the three Gs here. So 3 is the output. Okay, so let's look into the solution. So this is the solution. As you can see, it's accepted. And what I did uh, was the following. So here I'm declaring a string, okay? I'm reading in a st string. And then I have the maximum uh, repetition as the result here in this variable here, in this integer max r um, variable, okay? And initially I set this to be one. That is because uh, the size of our string uh, is always going to be uh, equal or greater to one. So uh, there is no chance this is going to be zero, for example. Uh, so, so by default, uh, the result is going to be equal to one at least, right? And then I set the current character, this variable here is uh, for the current character. And I said that current character, which I called C here, I set it to be equal to the very first character of my uh, input string, okay? And then I have this CC variable here, which uh, CC stores the count of the current character, essentially, that's uh, the intention with the naming that I used, and it's one, okay? And then we just repeat from index number one, which points to the second character of my string, up until the last character of my string, uh, which is pointed by the size of my string. Again, this, um, this is um, as parenthesis, is something I used in my template here, okay? So it gives you the size of the array, essentially. Of, of, the, of the string in this case, okay? So uh, we get the size of the string minus one to get the index to the last character, okay? And this rep here is just uh, another version. This is my is my own version of a for loop. Um, I define this here, okay? So it uses i as an index, okay? And then we check on the index that we're looking at uh, to see what. We check that the character we find there equals to the current character. If that's the case, then we increase the count of uh, uh, our current character, so how many consecutive times we found it, essentially, by one, okay? So in the simple case, when the loop is, uh, when this for loop is iterated here, okay, at this case, uh, let's say if we have the G to be the current character, when it jumps into the next one, it's going to be equal to G, so the count now is going to be increased to two. Okay, it was initially equal to one, now it's going to be uh, increased by one, so it will be equal to two. Right, uh, in the other case, which means that we find a different character than the one that we currently have, uh, what we do is we use this line here to store uh, the new max, uh, if we reach the new max. So we use the max function, we get the maximum result we found so far, and the current count, and we choose which of the two is the greatest one, and we turn it here, and then we assign it to max r, okay? Then uh, we set the consecutive characters uh, count to be equal to one again, okay? And the current character is gonna be the character pointed out by the index uh, that our uh, loop is currently um, uh, pointing to, okay? So that i is actually uh, currently pointing to. And we repeat this loop until um, we reach the end, essentially. And once we reach the end, we're gonna execute this line, this exact same line here, we're gonna execute it here again, um, because let's say that um, the, the, last, uh, the last three characters are the same, okay? So we're never gonna find a different number um, to, to execute this line uh, and thus save the answer. So we check it at the ending uh, here and we save the result we have so far um, when the when the loop, uh, when the main loop is finally over, okay? 
So these, uh, again, uh, checks the maximum of the maximum I have ever met and the current uh, streak of numbers, okay? And then I just output max r and this gets the accepted for this problem. So essentially, as you can see, it's a sim simple for uh, problem again. And the only thing that you need to know extra is how to uh, calculate this max. So you can just use STL, uh, the standard libraries and just say max here. Uh, is what I'm doing, or you can implement this uh, this max function by yourself, and that's pretty much it. Um, if that if you got stuck in this problem and this video helped you uh, figure out where you got stuck, consider giving it a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.